I did it this morning. I finished the Bible one more time. What a great ending. Revelations 22 gives us hope. And how can we have hope but without faith? The Bible says in Hebrews, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Let's talk about this more, that this morning in your morning cup of inspiration. Thanks for joining me. Yeah, we all need hope, don't we? And as Christians, there's no better hope than what the book of Revelations, Revelations teaches us that God and Jesus are coming back to get us and take us to heaven with them to live for eternity, forever and ever. For people who do not have that hope, I, I basically pity them because what is life without hope? What is life without the idea that there's more than what we're living right now. And the Bible tells us that. We just have, the, have to have the faith to believe it, don't we? The Bible tells us he's coming back quickly. The Bible says there's gonna be a new heaven and a new earth, and we're going to reign for eternity in God's presence. We're gonna literally be living with God. I can have the faith to believe and to hope for that. I pray that you can too. Now, first of all, if you haven't received Christ as your savior, then that hope's not available to you. So I encourage you to do that today. And once you do, that promise is available to you as well. The Bible says that a day is like a thousand years in eternity. So what we do today uh, even the temporary things, you know, that's why our good works are so important because they're storing up treasures in heaven. The way we live now is going to determine how we live in eternity, forever and ever. So I encourage you today, live for eternity, have the faith to believe in the hope of Christ's return and an eternal life with him. Let me finish by reading in James, the fifth chapter. As you know, we've been talking about faith, using James as a reference. Listen to these two verses, fifth chapter, seventh verse. Therefore, be patient, brethren, until the coming of the Lord. He's coming, but we have to be patient. The, the uh, eighth verse says, establish your hearts for the coming of the Lord is at hand. Be patient, establish your heart. Allow your faith to grab a hold of that hope to live for eternity. God bless, thanks for joining me for that morning cup of inspiration, and we'll see you next time.